Salud Culinaria Nights is a foodie experience like no other. And joining us today is Chef Paul Morales from Smoke Shack Meat Market. Yep, they got a meat market. You've only been open for... Uh, uh, this Sunday will be five weeks. Okay, you are the chef, you are the butcher there. Yes. And this event coming up is to promote local, not only restaurants, but... Local, yes, it's local farms, farms local ranches. ranchers, everything. So basically the... Chef Cooperatives is a 501c3, and we're uh, doing a dinner to help uh, raise money for Witty Museum and some of their programs. So basically, what we do is we offer our services. So this this coming up week, we're going to have three three course meal. It's going to be myself, Chef mm -hmm. Edward Villarreal, and Chef uh, Ernest Lopez. We're going to do three courses, wine included. And this actually is not one of my dishes that I'm going to do there. This is going to be this is more so we can have an interactive thing, but. The dish I'm going to be doing there is going to be a pickled root vegetable terrine mm -hmm. set in a pork aspect. So it's, it's about as close to vegetarian as I'll ever get because it's still got pork in it somehow. Because it's a meat but market. There you go. <laughs> and what we're making today, and the best way you described it, is Texas tartar. Yes, Parisa actually is a, I believe it's it started in um, Castroville, which is like a little Alsatian city that was a lot of people from Alsatian region of France moved there and this is an interpretation of one of their dishes of course we're kind of usually it's made I believe with round or something a cheaper mm -hmm. cut of course us being smoke shot meat market we're going to do it with tenderloin so <laughs> might as well go for broke with there you go one, so. so so you know we it's, this is very good Dean and Peeler um, black label tenderloin very good very clean so this is just getting chopped yeah up like just this, getting okay. chopped up you know you just want to mince it you want it to be some people, you know, researching this, I noticed a lot of people, there's different, you can grind it, you mm -hmm. can chop it by hand, people freeze it, carpaccio style, there's so many interpretations, but what we're trying to do here is really showcase the, quali showcase the quality of the meat, and it's very good, so it's going to be very minimal. Basically, it's just going to be chopped tenderloin, we have some serrano and uh, jalapenos, Onion. And we've got some little, can I just add this to it? Yeah, sure, just okay. add it too. Okay. So the, basically the, the recipe I have is, is one pound of beef, whatever your choice you like. To that, you want to add, I'd say, a nice big pinch of that. That's that black gold garlic salt. Okay. Very good stuff. A little pepper. Fresh pepper, freshly ground toasted pepper. Yeah, I like to put a, a lot onion. of onion. Yeah, a little bit of onion. Okay. About two, tape, two teaspoons. Same thing with the jalapeno serrano blend. I even put a little bit of uh, habanero in there, just a little bit. Just for posterity's so, sake. There you go. All and go cheese? ahead and just throw all that in there. That's about, okay. you know, four tablespoons. And this just, just get in there with your hands. Right. And you said a little bit of uh, lime juice thrown in here will help to almost like a ceviche. Right. It's, it's a cold cook. Cold cooked meat. Just a, right, just enough. Right. So, but, I mean, with good tenderloin like this, you could eat it oh, rare. Yeah. So. And you were talking about the nice thing with using local farms, local ranches, it's a win-win-win situation for the farmer, for yes. the, the chef, right. as well as for I, the consumer, I think right? that's what I think kind of separates us from most meat markets, is that when you come into our shop, the dollar you spend, 50 cents, about 50 cents of that dollar is going to a local farm or a local rancher or a local, mm -hmm. you know, we really, prom we really promote local. You know, I love New Zealand lamb, but we have some really good lamb here at Hudspeth River Ranch. You know, we got, our beef comes 40 miles from the butcher shop. I mean... Really good stuff, really fresh. When those vegetables come out of the ground, they are maybe a day or two old. They right, right. We get a lot ago. of our stuff from Truck and Tomato, which only sources locally within Austin, San Antonio. Mm -hmm. I even get some of my, uh, on last minute, like I was having trouble finding a pig's head, you know, and they came through and in the, in the end. Oh, let me get you some of this. Okay. And Both. the other nice thing, I mean, think about it, too. You've always heard about local honey with that pollen. That can help out with your allergies if you're ingesting some of that. So. Right, exactly. Okay. If you would like more information about the uh, Witty Museum Salud Cul Culinaria Dinner, Night's Dinner, pardon me, it's happening the 12th. That's Wednesday, next Wednesday at 6.30 p.m. at the Witty Museum for more information on the new Smoke Shack Meat Market. And let me tell you, they've got some beautiful cuts of meat out there. Just go to salive.com and click on the As Seen Salud. on SA Live tab. And this is great stuff. Yes, salud, chef. Mm.